It's me cooking with Anto. I hope you liked my choice of music. It was really random. I closed my eyes and brought my finger down a list and wherever it landed, bam, in my video. And um, so let's get started with this recipe, okay? You're going to mix together some butter and sugar and you're going to do it until it's light and fluffy. Five to seven minutes. Nothing more, nothing less. Halfway in between, you're going to get off your ass, go back into your kitchen, and you're going to scrape the bowl and make sure that nothing gets stuck on the sides, okay? Now, don't be lazy. Make sure all of it's off, okay? You get it into the middle because if you mess this step up, it doesn't incorporate well. Your cookie's going to be gross. Everyone's going to hate you, and you pretty much will have deserved it. So, the next step, you're cracking some eggs into this batter. Please, don't be one of those, those um, uppity people who crack their eggs into a bowl first and then put the ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Crack it, put it in there. You know what? If a shell gets in that shit, tell them to pick it out. Who cares? Let's get over it. These are cookies. It's not like a shell is going to kill you. It's never happened to me. Wink, wink. But let's just say, don't be a rookie. Keep doing it. That's also when you add in your anise flavor, okay? Um, so now what you're going to do is you're going to put in your dry ingredients and then your wet. So it's a flour baking powder mixture with a milk mixture. So flour, milk, flour, milk. You're going to do that and alternate uh, because, again, it incorporates well, okay? Because if you don't do it this way, your cookie's going to end up dry. You don't want a dry cookie because if I, I ate a dry cookie that someone made, I'm going to tell them like you, you ruin this. I'm never eating anything you bake again. I'm not going to lie and tell you that it tasted delicious. I'm not that type of person. You'll see it right in my face because I'm probably struggling to swallow what you've baked. All right. So we're going to keep going until everything's incorporated. And then I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like. All right. So here, everything is done. As you can see, it has that cookie dough consistency, right? Where it's not too hard, but it's also not too soft. So you want it to be not like a drop cookie, but also not like something, um, you know, like chocolate chip batter where it's a little thicker. So you can pick this batter up and you can like stick it between your fingers and you'll know when it's done because it sticks, but you can also get rid of it and drop it off your fingertip easily. You saw that my um, cheap spatula broke, freaking Dollar Tree, ridiculous. Anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like, okay? That's it, done. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cookie scoop, spoon, finger, hands, whatever you wanna do, and you're gonna put it on your cooking sheet, you know, and then use parchment paper, also known as, I'm way too fucking lazy to scrub this pan when I'm done baking cookies. I don't wanna be cleaning. Who wants to clean? I wanna eat. And I don't want to have to burn off the calories I'm eating. You know what I mean? I want to eat these cookies. I'm going to let it sit right in the hips, in the butt, where it belongs. So we're going to continuously put as many as we can on here. Because again, who likes making 42 batches of cookies? Fit them all in there. These don't, these don't spread apart. So they're not going to touch each other. Put as many as you want. And of course, I'm also too lazy to make them round and perfect looking. You know what I mean? And uh, they still taste the same. So what's the sense of me going in there and have to making, you know, things perfect? Not going to happen. So while you have that batter in the fridge for a little while, about 20 minutes, you're going to want to start working on your icing. Very easy. I mean, you're putting these little bad boys on there, okay? Uh, they're not sprinkles. They're um, little tiny rainbow balls, non perils whatever they're called. They taste good. That's all that matters. So you're going to put some milk in that um, powdered sugar and you're going to mix until you get a good icing consistency. You know, if you like yours a little thin or thicker, it's up to you. you add less um, powdered sugar or more milk, whatever you want to do. Uh, personally, I like mine where I'm able to dip the cookie inside and then it still kind of has a thickness to it. OK, um, so let me see you. That's exactly how I like it. You see it right there. Well, it's thick enough and it sticks and I just tasted it right there. I did. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it tastes disgusting when it's not on a cookie. You know, that's not something you want to eat on its own. All right, so you see these deformed cookies that don't look appetizing at all? 
Yeah, so they're done. And you know they're done because at the bottom they're brown. And they're never going to get brown up top because that's just not how these cookies bake. And uh, they don't really look too appetizing right now. That's a shame, huh? But it uh, doesn't really matter because these get covered with icing. And I'm not wasting my time making things look round and perfect. Not happening. Who has time for that? I don't. I just want to eat. So you take that cookie that's absolutely deformed, like a, you know, second stepchild that no one really pays attention to, and you dip it into the icing. And you keep doing that till the top of it is covered and no one else can see that you've basically made a cookie that doesn't look too pretty, right? Just keep dipping it in there. Who cares? Swirl it around, get it to stick. And then the very next step is you put these little bitches on. Just put more than that. What am I doing? No, no more. You see, I wasn't talking. Uh, while I was recording that so whatever but anyway these had a whole bunch on them because I wasn't so lazy and as you could see look beautiful no one can tell that I didn't want to waste my personal time and make them round they still look good they're going in the same place that's all that really matters and uh, they have that nice cake-like consistency that a lot of people know when it comes to anisette cookies all right so if you like my videos you try my recipes like share subscribe let everybody you know know that I'm freaking awesome and share my channel. And um, yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Bye.